How are you? We haven't spoken for ages. How is everything going on our project? Are you happy? Does that work? Really? Is that true? Tell me more. Working with other groups and other people who share the same vision but bring different areas of experience and expertise is the best way to approach complex problems. When things get difficult, those complementary relationships are the ones that help you turn things around. When things are going well, they will increase the impact and reach of your initiative. Forming partnerships increases capability through sharing limited resources. They build common understanding, give you access to knowledge from experienced people with different perspectives, and they increase your reach. Taking time to plan and understand your partnerships pays dividends. When you establish strong foundations and relationships, you help each other to achieve greater results. Building effective partnerships takes a lot of time and effort. Because to deliver effective collaboration, you need high-quality working relationships. And we all know that those relationships where you invest time and make an effort are the best relationships in your life. The Building Partnerships map breaks the process into steps, so you can anticipate some of the relationship difficulties, challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. It reminds you what to do to make each step work. To work well, partnerships need to be mutually beneficial to all involved. You can use the Building Partnerships map to analyse where your relationship is at the moment, so you work out what to do next. Mend fences, build bridges, or dance off together into a sunny future. My name is Mithika, and I'm the Project Officer on the TESS India program at The Open University. My top tip for the Building Partnership Mapping tool is to really invest time in building and planning partnerships. Different partners bring different skills and expertise, so having strong partnerships can enrich the work you do and lead to better results. That's my top tip.